While Libyan rebels continue their fight on the ground, the battle to liberate the country is also being waged over the airwaves. Libya is the name of one of the country's new media ventures sparked by the revolution. It's the first free live satellite TV station following 40 years of media oppression. The new channel began broadcasting from Qatar in April. It's a TV uh, created by the Libyan youth who are part of this Libyan movement for democracy. And we called it Libya, not like free or Libya this or Libya that, just Libya. So our aim and goal is to work for Libya. Mardis Afula is a Libyan expat who produces news reports and interviews from outside Libya for the fledgling channel. Like many of his colleagues, Afulai is new to journalism and doesn't claim to be impartial. He says he jumped at the opportunity to work in support of the revolution by giving a voice to those who go unheard on Libyan state TV. Our TV is actually for to report what's going on in Libya and to guide also to our best ability uh, through our media, the revolutionaries. Like we invite a lot of politicians, we make interviews with very important people around the world who are involved in the cause of Libya. Afulai conducts most of his interviews outside Libya. He translates them into both Arabic and Amazia, the language of the Berber people, which was banned in Libya before the revolution. His interview with NATO Secretary General Anders Fogh Rasmussen is another sign of the country's newly gained freedom. Militarily, we are operating in Libya to protect civilians against uh, regime attacks. Um, and, we have, uh, and, and we will continue our operation as long as the regime con continues to attack uh, its own uh, people. The new channel got underway by streaming videos on its website Libya.tv. But as Internet access is still curtailed for much of Libya's population, its founders knew they had to get access to Arabsat and Nilesat to reach the wider Libyan population. The channel says it now has a string of contributors who send video footage and reports from inside Libya. With a mix of news, interviews, talk shows and popular phone-in programs, the station aims to keep people abreast with the latest news and developments in Libya. It also offers Libyans an overview of what the foreign press is saying about Libya. And it also tries to dispel the propaganda broadcast on state TV, as seen here. But Afalai warns that there are still many Gaddafi supporters who will not be convinced to stand down by words alone. People who are with Gaddafi, they are with Gaddafi, whether the state uh, propagate what they are propagating or, uh, or not. I mean, people know that it's just state propaganda and they don't have any vision whatsoever, actually. <laughs> the makers of Libya TV say that after 40 years of media oppression under Gaddafi, Libyans are longing for freedom of speech and information. They hope they can play a role in transforming their country and perhaps one day replace the old state-owned broadcasters. I'm Mike Mühlberger reporting from Brussels for the NATO Channel.